I made 10 powerful text animations that you can easily use in After Effects to level up your videos. You can follow along my tutorial and create them yourself. Or you can download my preset for just $3. I spent ton of time making this and I wanted to offer it at the lowest price possible. You know that on my YouTube channel you can learn for free. But for those who would like to support my channel you can buy my preset from my website, link is in the description. Thank you. I'm also giving away free presets to my subscribers. Just comment below why you want it and make sure you're subscribed. And I will pick 3 winners in the next video. So first animation is a middle snap. So open up your properties of your text, click on animate button and then choose tracking. Then click on add and choose property and opacity. Make sure your anchor point is in the middle of your text and in the paragraph there's center text. Now with tracking amount shrink the letters together and change opacity to 0%. Now expand range selector 1, keyframe start 0%, move 1 second forward and now 100%. Select the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now open up a graph editor and smooth out the keyframes like this. Now add motion blur and now you have it. So next one is the bouncy animation. So create a new text and make sure it's 50 pixels. Now you can scale up the text as you like. Now expand properties of the text. Now click on animate button and choose position. Change the second position to minus 100. Now expand range selector 1, click advanced and change shape to ramp down and easy high to 100%. Now keyframe the offset button, make sure you're on the start of the timeline, hit the keyframe and do minus 100%. Move one second forward and change it to 100%. Now click on animator 1 and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Open up animator 2, change the second position to 50. Expand range selector 1, advanced and change easy high to 50% and easy low to 50%. Now again click on animator 2 and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Open animator 3, change the second position to minus 10. Now press U on a keyboard and we will offset the keyframes by 5 frames. Now again open up properties of the text, click on animate and choose opacity. Keyframe opacity to 0%, make sure you're on the start of the timeline. Move couple of frames and change it to 100%. Now enable motion blur and that's it. Smooth reveal. So open up your properties of your text, click on animate button and choose position. Then click on add button, property and opacity. Move the second position down and opacity to 0%. Now expand range selector 1, make sure you're on start of the timeline and offset the keyframe minus 100%. Move one second forward, 100%. Now expand advanced, shape, change to ramp up change easy high to 30% and easy low to 100. Now select both keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease, now activate motion blur and that's it. Now we have wiggle animation. So open up your properties of the text, click on animate and choose position. Now click on add, selector and wiggly. Expand to wiggly selector 1, change wiggle second to 0, Change correlation to 0%, change position to 3 by 5 Hold Alt and click on random seat, now type posterize and for me it would be 15. The higher the number, the faster the wiggle will be. Now also at random, 1000. And that's it. Now blurry animation. Expand the properties of your text. Click on animate button and choose opacity. Make sure on the start, opacity 0%, keyframe it and move one and a half second forward and opacity 100%. Now rename the animator one, click on animate button and choose blur. Now increase the blur amount as you like. Expand range selector one, make sure on the start and keyframe start button. 0%, move one and a half second forward and 100%. Now select both keyframes and move them a couple of frames forward. Now we need to smooth out the keyframes, so select both keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease, open up graph editor and smooth them out like this. 
do it again with rain selector 1 now expand transform make sure on the start and keyframe scale for me it would be 80% move two and a half second forward and 100% select both keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease open up graph editor smooth them out like this move both keyframes to the left activate motion blur and that's it so now we have flicker animation so open up a properties of your text click on animate and choose opacity click on add selector and wiggly now change wiggly seconds to zero and correlation to zero percent now hold alt and click on random seed now type posterize and for me it would be 15 and also add random 1000 Make sure on the start of the timeline and keyframe the opacity to 0%, move couple of frames and change it for example to 40%. Now move couple of frames and change it to 100%. And there you have it. Quick snap animation. Expand the properties of the text, click on animate button and choose position. Click on add button, property and opacity. Now again click on add button, property and tracking. Move the second position down like this. Decrease the tracking amount and shrink the letters together. Change the opacity to 0%. Now expand rain selector one. Make sure you're on the start of the timeline. Click on start button keyframe. Move one second forward and change it to 100%. Now select both keyframes, right click on them. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. Open up a graph editor and shrink the keyframes together like this. Now enable motion blur and you have it. And now scale animation. Expand the properties of the text, click on animate button and choose scale. Click on add property and choose opacity. Change opacity to 0% and scale to 0%. Now expand the range selector one. Make sure on the start of the timeline, keyframe the offset minus 100%. Move one second forward and change it to 100%. Now expand advanced and change shape to ramp up. Change easy high to 30%, that would be enough. And change easy low to 100%. Select both keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, add easy ease and leave it like that. You can add motion blur and that's it. Now we have counter. So go to effects and presets and find slider control and drag it to the number. Open up properties of the layer, click on text and now hold alt and click on the stopwatch icon and now click on this pick whip and drag it onto the slider control and now we need to type math.round open parentheses and close parentheses and now we can just animate it by slider control click on slider stopwatch icon move couple of frames and change to whatever number you want and you have it now cinematic tracking open up properties of your text Click on animate and choose tracking. Now increase tracking amount as you like. Make sure on the start of the timeline and keyframe it. Now move one and a half seconds and change it to 0%. Now select both keyframes, right click keyframe assistant easy ease, open up a graph editor, move right keyframe all the way to the left and the left keyframe a bit to the left. You can activate motion blur and that's it. And that's it. You can grab the preset right now from my website. And if you enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe, like this video and comment down below what you want for the next video. Thank you so much for your support in the comments and see you in the next one.